Hi, Fat Yoga friends. My name is Tiffany. I'm a fat yoga instructor trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. And today is a 30 minute session. It's a gentle session meant for beginners. And we're going to take it nice and slow. So let's go. You'll need a blanket, bolster, something to kind of sit on to get yourself started. And let's put everybody in the room. Hi friends. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. hello. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hello, beautiful people. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is a uh, fat yogi crew, the community class. So it's a 30 minute gentle class. It's perfect for beginners. So let's find a couple of blankets or a bolster, something to be to sit on to where we can just begin in a seated pose. So something cross-legged or legs extended, you get to decide. And I just love seeing everybody on camera. This makes me so happy. If you don't feel comfortable on camera, it's totally fine. You don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and mute everybody. Um, but it is nice to see your smiling faces back at me. And then at different points in the practice, I might even ask you to high five your neighbors. And that's nice to have, be on camera for something like that. So, all right. So finding your seated posture, I might have to get up. Yep, like that. <laughs> because people keep coming in the room. Um, find your seated posture and then just bring your hands to your knees and close your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths here. So just kind of cleansing whatever's going on. Deep breath. So this breath is going to be super, super deep. Breathe it in. Sip in the air. Sip in more like you can't breathe. And then exhale. <sighs> Let it all go. Let it go even more. Squeeze it out. Squeeze it. Deep breath in. Sip it in. Sip it in. And then exhale, let it go. All of the air out. Squeeze your belly, let it out, all of it. And then just take a quick cleansing breath. Just kind of shake everything out. Get yourself situated. It's kind of like when a dog is just making their circles and they keep going round and round. This is like that perfect time to kind of switch the direction of the legs, move your hips, let your shoulders come down, wiggle your fingers, flex muscles in your body, send some amazing love to your belly because we just don't do that enough. So all the things, take your time here to kind of just settle. This is with eyes closed or maybe soft gaze in your eyes. So just kind of tapping into the body here. And then on that next inhale, sip in the air. Open mouth, exhale, oh, let it go. That's a bunch of fresh air right there. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Oh, two more times, deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Oh, one more time on your own. And then just come to a normal breath here. Let yourself settle feel into this. Hopefully everybody's here. If more people come in, that means I have to get up. <laughs> so bring your hand, your right hand to your, like the palm of your hand to like your face. Almost like that terrible joke when somebody like smacks your hand and then you smack yourself and they're like, why are you smacking yourself? That's exactly what we're doing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead and bring two fingers to your palm. So it's the pinky and what is it? The ring finger. And then your middle finger is on your left nostril. The thumb is on the right nostril and your index finger is on your third eye. So you don't have to close all of them. <laughs> But we are going to do some naughty Shodana breathing. I'll come a little bit closer if you want to open your eyes to just make sure you're doing it right. So it's something like this. So as we inhale and exhale, we just adjust the thumb and the, the middle finger. So go ahead and close your eyes again. So as we close the left side, we take a deep inhale on the right. Close the left, open the left, no, close the right, open the left, exhale through the left. 
Inhale through the left and then open the right. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the right or the left. I had it. <laughs> Close the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale through the left. Take a couple rounds on your own here. And then go ahead and come back to center. Bring both your hands to your knees and just begin to ask yourself how that felt. Was one side more clogged than the other? Was it the right or the left? If it's the right, you need more rest. If it's the left, you need more activity, supposedly. So mine is the right, so I need more rest. <laughs> I feel like that's true probably, which probably for all the humans on this um, Zoom call. So sending resting vibes to all of you. But maybe there were other things that came up, like you got confused, like I did. Totally understandable. Maybe there's a lot of things going on for you where you get confused. There's a lot of things going on for me. So that happened and that's okay. That just means that there's just a time and a place where us, we can reflect on that and take a time, take time to kind of say, yeah, maybe I do need to rest. <laughs> Go ahead and close your eyes, bring yourself back to your body and take a deep inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Begin to seal your lips and find that ujjayi breath. So this is that breath of life that makes you feel really good. This is a four count, five count, or six count breath in, and then that same count out. So inhale for four, exhale for four. Inhale for five, exhale for five, and so on. You can choose just one that has always worked for you, or you might wanna explore. Maybe four is not enough, so you go for five or six. So take this time to just breathe here, feel into the breath and let yourself just kind of explore your lung capacity. So sipping the air in and counting to yourself and then exhaling very slowly and finding that count. So a few breaths on your own, finding that ujjayi breath. As you breathe here, I'd like to offer the inten intention of I am enough. So as we inhale, we think I am, and then exhale, we think enough. This is something that isn't said enough and we need this said as much as possible. So inhale, I am, exhale enough. I am good enough. I am strong enough. I'm powerful enough. Whatever it is that you need in your life, you are enough. So this is me to you and you to yourself, knowing and saying it to yourself so that you can believe it. I am enough. And then just notice if your shoulders have began to slouch and just lift up your chest slightly, tuck your chin and continue on with the breathing as we lower down the right ear to right shoulder, finding that nice side stretch on the left side. Maybe we reach that left hand down or the top of the hand can come to the base of the spine, feeling into that whole stretch on that left side. Take some deep inhales here and let yourself just really sink into that nice stretch. Inhaling, lifting that chin, exhaling, lowering. 
Finding your ujjayi. On that next exhale, we come back to center and then release our hand. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And then we feel that stretch on the opposite side. So we reach our right hand down to the side or maybe the top of the hand meets the, butt, the base of the spine. Something that feels really good. Wherever you're at is good. Let yourself be there and listen to your body. And then go ahead and release your hand and come back to center and find a couple of neck circles, keeping your eyes closed here, just noticing how your neck is feeling, lifting and lowering your chin and coming around very, very slowly. Go in at least one circle and then maybe go in the opposite direction for at least one circle. Finding all those little nooks and crannies where you might need to stretch out your neck. Come back to center. We can open our eyes now. Inhale, both arms come up and exhale. Let's reach forward. Hands come to the ground, chin to chest. And maybe we just begin to like work into our shoulders. We inhale, lift our chest lightly. Exhale, we lower. Feeling into that ujjayi breath and the hip stretch. Maybe even that low back stretch. On that next inhale, we rise all the way back up, bring our hands up to the sky, and then we twist to the right, both hands come down, right hand behind, left hand comes to left leg or the right leg. Take a deep inhale, we lift the chest, and exhale, we twist. Inhale, we lift, and exhale, we twist. On that next exhale, we come back to center, both hands come forward, inhale, both arms come up, Exhale, we twist to the left, both hands come down, right hand to left leg or to the right leg, left hand behind, take a deep inhale and lift the chest and exhale, we twist. Inhale, we lift and exhale, we twist. On that next exhale, we come back to center. Inhale, we begin to roll the shoulders up, down and back, kind of feeling into that ujjayi breath as we roll our shoulders. Option to close your eyes here and just really feel into your shoulders, allowing them to kind of open up slowly and then roll them forward the opposite direction from what you're rolling right now. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> I feel like saying, singing that song every time I do this stretch. <laughs> And then we begin to open up our arms so the tops of the hands come out to the sides and let our chest just kind of open up. We find a little arch in the back, lift up our chin, and then exhale, we wrap our arms around ourselves and then allow our elbows to come into our belly and just kind of feel that nice shoulder stretch along the back of our shoulders. Ah, it feels so good, doesn't it? Inhale, open up our chest, find that same stretch. We look up, maybe this time we lower the hands a little or maybe we raise the hands a little. Like where does the stretch need to happen? Ask yourself and explore your body. On that next exhale, we wrap our arms around ourselves and then allow our elbows to come into our belly. Not in a negative way. <laughs> elbows towards the belly, not into, that'd be mean. Go ahead and release and shake it out. Bring your hands behind you and then switch the direction of the legs. So if right was in front of left, this time left in front of right. Inhale, both arms come up and exhale, we reach forward, hands to the ground, chin to chest, and just begin to slowly like wiggle our shoulders all the way forward. On that next exhale, go ahead and push ourselves all the way back up and let's find a tabletop. So move whatever you are sitting on out of the way, coming onto all fours, so hands and knees onto the mat. We can tuck our toes or untuck the toes. Inhale, we lift the chest, let the belly drop. Exhale, we round the back. Feel that stretch in our shoulders, really pressing into the hands. Inhale, we find our cow, and exhale, we find our cat. Just rolling to whatever, uh, breath you'd like to roll to. So maybe your breath count is quicker. So you roll through more cows and cats. Or maybe it's slower and more mindful. So you're rolling through less, but the intention is just the same. 
Go ahead and come back to center. If you need blocks, grab them. Bring them to the top of the mat so they can be under your hands. This is just optional. So if you don't have them, not a big deal. If you do, go ahead and set them up. If you want, we'll go into a down dog. Option here to just lean into the hand. So the hands are extended, relaxing your neck and pressing the hands into the mat or to the blocks. And this might be your down dog. Like you're not able to access the regular down dog or a down dog with hips lifted. This is your down dog and that's okay. So just make sure your arms are extended, your shoulders are engaged, everything is turned on. Otherwise we lift our hips up to the sky, press into the hands and allow our hips to really stick out. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, press into the hands again, filling into those hips. This is your first down dog, swivel your hips a little. And then begin to walk your feet into your hands. If you're on your knees, just come into a forward fold. Take your feet as wide as the mat, bend your knees so that your belly can fit between your thighs. So here it is, bent knees, belly can fit, and then our knees kind of come in and go straight. So that's the move. We move our, our smooth bits to accommodate and get a little bit lower. So relax your, your chin, relax your neck, maybe bend one knee and then the other. We can kind of just feel into this. This is your body and your yoga. So you do what feels good here. On that next exhale, we slowly roll all the way up. Chin to chest, head comes up last. Shake it out. Shake out your legs, shake out your shoulders. And take a deep breath here. High five your neighbor like, yes, we made it to standing. You rock. I love you so much, yes. Okay, <laughs> and then plant your feet and then think about um, finding the perfect spot for your feet. So it's like feet directly under the hips, hips directly under the shoulders, and then our knees are slightly bent, our pelvis is slightly tucked, our hands come out to the sides and they're open. So we find our mountain. Shoulders are down. We feel into our bodies. We take a moment to just like, appreciate the fact that we can stand up. Like how amazing is this, right? We have a tendency not to like the size of our body in different places, thighs included, and yet they're holding us up right now. How amazing is that? Doesn't matter how big your thighs are, you're still standing. Take some deep breaths here. Maybe close your eyes and just like feel into your body. Send some love to your thighs. They don't get it enough for sure. And then go ahead and open your eyes and let's circle the arms all the way up to the sky. We press the palms together. Look at your palms as we're reaching, 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 and then let your hands come all the way down your midline, finding a forward fold again. All the way back down, hands can come to the blocks or to the mat. Take your feet a little wider if you need to, to accommodate the belly and feel into your forward fold. Lean forward so that you feel the weight in your toes and let yourself just kind of move whatever it is that you need to stretch out the back of your legs. And then bend your knees and you slowly roll all the way back up, circling your arms up to the sky. We look up to the sky, look at your thumbs, and then we watch them as we go all the way back down, finding your forward fold. This time we come up halfway, so our chest is parallel to the ground. We stick our booties out, we engage our core, and we relax our neck. Hands can just reach towards the ground or they can come in by your thighs. Exhale, we fold again. Inhale, we circle the arms, looking up, reaching up, pressing our palms together. And exhale, look at your thumbs as you lower all the way down. It's kind of like a mind warp, right? So like, what is happening? <laughs> and then we forward fold all the way back down. Inhale, we rise and find our half lift. Relax that neck, engage your core. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, circle arms all the way back up to the top. We look up to the top, reach up to the top, press your hands together. We're looking at our hands and we bring them right back to center. So to your heart center, look at your hands. <sighs> Take a deep breath here. Find your mountain again. 
Both hands come out to the side and feel into your body. One more time. Plant your feet, shoulders away from your ears and breathe. Let yourself feel into it. Let yourself appreciate your body. I am enough. I am enough exactly as I am. I don't need anybody else's opinion or approval here. I am enough. Go ahead and open your eyes and let's do that one more time. Circle arms all the way up to the top. We press our palms together. We look at our thumbs as we exhale to lower all the way back down. Inhale, we rise and find our half lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we circle arms all the way back up to the top. Look at our thumbs as we bring our hands all the way to our head center. Take a deep breath here. Bring both hands over your heart. And just feel your heart beating. Tap into it, tap into your body. When was the last time you felt inside your body? And breathe. This is what yoga is. This is where yoga is kind of magical where we can actually feel what we're feeling. I'm gonna go ahead and open your eyes, shake it out, and then let's find seated posture. Coming back down, maybe finding a blanket, bolster, whatever we've got. Legs extend out in front of us, moving our blocks out of the way. <clears throat> We go ahead and flex our feet and then just lift our chest up and slowly lower our chest. Hands are reaching, but they just come to a very neutral place. So think of this as a passive stretch. We're not reaching towards the toes and then pulling our chest down. We're letting our chest lead the way. So where does our chest go? Where can our chest go? Let's ask ourselves that. Take some deep breaths here. On that next exhale, we come all the way back up. We bring both feet in and find our butterfly pose. Grip onto the ankles, press, it, press the elbows into the knees. An option here, we can always bring our feet a little more out in front if we'd like to bring the stretch a little differently or if our knees are way up high. So wherever you're at, be there. This is your body, your practice. So take a deep breath, we inhale, look up, exhale, begin to shift forward and feel into that stretch. Take another deep breath here and then fold a little bit more. So just kind of lean into the breath, allow yourself to just like feel that hip stretch and just kind of be present right here in your body. On that next exhale, we rise all the way back up and let's find our backs. So we can extend our legs, shake them out for just a moment and then come off of our bolster or blanket and find our backs. So we bend our knees, plant our feet into the earth. Hands are down by our sides and just begin to shift our knees from side to side, feeling into that low back, allowing ourselves to just kind of ease into some spinal twists, and maybe we stay on one side of the rockin' and rollin'. Let me take a deep breath here. And then on that next exhale, we move the knees to the right and take another deep breath. And then come back to center. Both feet come wider than the mat and then allow your knees to just kind of knock into each other. Kind of like a triangle. This should feel a little bit of a stretch or you should feel a little bit of a stretch on the outer hip. Hands can come above your head. So bend at the elbows, fingers reaching towards each other, making kind of like a diamond shape. Allow your shoulders to come away from ears here, kind of roll them under. So option here to stay here just like this, broken warrior, or find your Shavasana. Lots of different places you can go. You can extend your legs so that you find a traditional corpse pose, arms down by your side. This is your traditional Shavasana. If you wanna be here, be here. If this is pinchy on your back or it doesn't feel good, bend your knees and plant your feet back onto the earth. You could also line yourself up with a chair and just plant your calves on a chair if you'd like. You could also put a pillow underneath your back or your head or even your calves to kind of lift up your hips that way. 
Listen to your body and let yourself find that Shavasana that makes you feel like a rock star. This is the Shavasana everybody wants to come and see. It's your rock star Shavasana. So find it and be really, really comfortable with it. It's a Shavasana that makes you feel safe and warm and fuzzy and like you never wanna get up. So once you find it, take a deep inhale, open mouth, exhale, ah, sink into the mat. Let yourself really be heavy here. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Ah. And then one more time on your own. Ah. Think about gravity pushing you down and your mat holding you up. You are here in this amazing space and you get to take this Shavasana because it is your time. You deserve it. You get to take it. So let's be here, be present in our Shavasana. Clear your mind, whatever's coming up for you, let it go. So put it behind your yoga door or maybe label it later and just let it kind of like waft away with your breath. If you need a focus, think of a color and as it lightens, as you breathe in, it lightens and as you exhale, it darkens. So let's take the next few minutes in silence and enjoy your Shavasana. Tap back into the breath. Take a deep inhale and an exhale. Wiggle fingers and toes. Circle out wrists and ankles. Take both hands overhead for a full body stretch. Let it feel sweet. And then roll onto one side and gently push yourself up, finding a comfortable seated posture. Bring your hands to your heart center, tuck your chin and close your eyes. Thank yourself for being here today, for being present in the practice and really feeling the love for your body. I am enough. Write that somewhere. <laughs> Bring your thumbs to your third eye. The divine light within me honors the divine light in each and every one of you. 
Namaste. Beautiful practices. Everybody did so good. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I think we ended just on time. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>